Though I roam, show my heart never left her. Oh, the dark rolling sea, she is calling to me. Oh, I'm coming back home to Ireland. Ked Mila Falta, 100,000 welcomes to Irish Paint Magic. Today we're going to go back down to the Democratic Republic of Cork, the real county in Ireland. And we're going to go to Carraga Drahad uh, Castle, one very historic uh, castle down there, crossing the River Lee. Uh, just before we go there, I'd like to read out a few more emails that came in. And this is from uh, 27 Ogle Street, Armagh, Northern Ireland. And it says, thank you to David Willis and T.G. Cahar for a wonderful art show. I enjoyed it so much, and I do hope that David will come back again soon. Good luck to everybody in the studios. And from uh, Pinewood, uh, Baltimore Hill, Baltimore County Cork, I really enjoyed your programs of Irish Paint Magic on T.G. Cahar. My mother has decided to take up painting after watching your program. Yours sincerely, Sandra Murphy. And we have another one here from County Cork, and it says, Hi there. I'm sorry to bother you, but I feel that I have to request that you show that you show more programs from the talented artist David Willis. I would, it would be nice if the programs were a bit longer and that this would give David more time to show some of the techniques he uses in detail instead of having to rush him to finish the picture in the present time schedule. It is nice to see a TV station supporting good homegrown arts and crafts and will especially, we look especially look forward to continuation of Irish Paint Magic series on TG Carr. And that's from David Neal and Bally Cotton in County Cork. So we go straight up here to the canvas. Again, I have my standard old canvas of 24 by 18 and it's all dry. And this time I'm going to go all over the whole canvas with liquid white or magic white. So I just pick up the magic white and go right over the whole canvas. Right over. And if you invest in one of these brushes, it will do you for the rest of your life. Make your life very easy. There's only a few of these brushes. There's, no, there's the one inch and the two inch and a few other little ones. And, and you can see where you can get all this material. You can get all the, the brushes, materials, everything. Just look at the program and don't be fooled by other people saying that you can do it this way, you can do it that way. Because if you um, use the mediums, you use very little paint and you save it, you save it again on the paints later. So now, straight away, I'm going to go in with the brush uh, right up here to the sky. I'm going to pick up a bit of black, a bit of blue. And again, coat the top of the, the canvas with the black and the blue. The reason the black and the blue is to, the blue, black is into the blue is to tone it down a little bit. Just tone it down. I don't like the blue to be too, too, too blue, too tropical. Don't like that. So go in in small doses and you'll have no problem at all. Now, and down we come. And as we come down the canvas, we get lighter and lighter on the stroke. That's why I'm coaxing in there in small doses. There you are. A little bit of black, small bit of crimson, just to warm that up. And I'm going to put that on there and it will form the shadow for a cloud, which would be up there. Don't be afraid to have a go. You see it's spreading now. It spreads out all over, all over the liquid white for you, or the magic white. It makes your life very, very easy as a painter. Down here, I'm going to go into that corner there. A bit more blue and more black, maybe a little bit of crimson. I'm going to darken that corner there. Now, I'm going to start on the outside and pull in, just like this, all along there. Pull that out from the side out. I have the brush on its edge now. The brush is on its edge. And here, and I'm going to leave it at that for now, okay? I go back up here, the one inch brush, and I'm going to turn the one is brush on its edge and pull that white out. Pull it out. And then I go right up. It's on, it's on the uh, edge of the brush now. I'm going to pull it out and back up here. And I'm going to play that light area against that dark area. 
and I'm going to mine this dark area, which is down here. So I go straight in, one, two, three, four, five, and off I go, off I go, and right into the canvas by just touching and tapping. Do not paint, I can't stress that enough. Do not paint, tap it, and talk to the canvas. Tap it down, down into the dark area there. Down into the dark area. And wipe the brush when you come off. More paint. Just stress, just cleaning that up a little bit more there now. And again, I'm minding the old dark area underneath now. I want that to form a shadow from the, from the sun as though it was coming down here. And the sun would hit the cloud and throw a shadow in there under it. And all the way along there, uh, we don't have to take some all Ireland titles down that way. Hmm. When I come up to Dublin, they're very jealous because they can't keep up with us cockfellas taking All Ireland titles. Sometimes I have to sneak in and out of Dublin. Now with the two-inch brush, very gently, big long strokes, and ask all those clouds to sit down. Please sit down. Thank you very much. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very obliging sky down in Cork now. You see how well it behaves down there, sitting like other paths. I got into fierce trouble in North County Dublin there, in Fingal and all those places when I started giving out about them and the way they treated St. Patrick, and I have to sneak in and out ever since. A little bit of dark green, so I, I'm not taking up too much paint now. I'm, I have the filbert brush, a bit of black, a bit of sap green and black. And I just mix the two of those together. There's very little paint, there's no need. So I push in. I push in now to get a ridge of paint. I'm pushing in now with the filbert brush to get a ridge of paint there. And that ridge of paint now is on the top of the brush. The very same as that what's there is on the top of the brush. I want you to come up to the canvas now. And it's threes away over there in the distance. Now, now let, the, let the brush make the shape for you. The, the brush is vertical now. And let the brush make the, the shapes for you. There's, there's a lot of trees over there under that, in there in the background. Above at the top, just let, let, the, let the brush make the shapes. They're, it's quite a cross over there now. Okay. So I can pull some of that down, I'd say. Since there's going to be water, the river leaves down there. We'll do it now anyway. Just put it straight down. Just to highlight some of those, um, those trees over there. The sun will catch just some of the outsides. It won't uh, catch all of them. And especially as you come down, come down uh, on, on the trees, the foliage, it will only... Let the brush do the trick now for you. The brush will work well. But don't... At the bottom, there's usually much more dense much more dense uh, vegetation down there. So don't go to any great detail down the bottom. Some of that will go down there. We'll catch that later. I have a lot of contact paper in here because the castle, Carrigadro had castle is in here. And I don't have a whole lot of time, but uh, I'll explain it all to you in a moment. So I'm going in behind that. I'm pulling this off. Pulling it all off. Carrigadraha Bridge is there uh, as well, going over the River Lee. And I'll pull it off up this way now. And I get the old castle there. Now, I'm just going to clean up some of that castle with um, a little bit of Van Dyke Brown, thinned out slightly with a drop of white spirit. And I get my Mahal stick, come up here around that. Don't go to any great detail with it, because it's there for hundreds of years. I'll explain a little bit about it in a moment to give us some of the history of it. Very, very, very uh, interesting history on this one. Right down the edges of it, right down. Oh. 
over here. And down all along and just over the top of the bridge there. These all mahal sticks are very handy for keeping your um, your hand steady because the top of the canvas is now all wet. Otherwise I I could mess it up. Not M A H L Mahal. You can buy very fancy ones in the shops, but it's up to yourself. This is only an ordinary bit of stick. And it keeps your hand lovely and steady when you're when you're painting these things. Now, I'll just clean up some of that there. And again. Now, over here. We've got to get some of this down now. I'm going to come in here with some of this uh, green color that I had. In there under the bank. Under this bank. Coax it in. Don't go to any great trouble. Over here, we're not worried about there. Now I'm going to make up some color. Out there. Now I'm going to make up some color. Um, yellow ochre, cyan. I better come over here. A little bit of yellow ochre, a bit of cyan, a bit of white. All those colors, more or less mixed up, will do fine. So I'll come back up to the the canvas now. Some of these colors now will come right down. Right along here. Come here. Nice reflection coming down there. Come on. Come on down. All the way down now. Now these are all vertical strokes. All the way down. All the way down. Some of them. Up there. All along, a little bit darker color now. A T A Security. Over nine hundred thousand Irish workers have no pension, and by the time they realize what's missing, for many it will be too late. talk to Irish Life today and together we can put things in place to give you a future with more options wherever you happen to be in your life Irish Life Here's to the green, to the right, to the left to the full on, the flat out, the straight ahead Here's to the mud, to the nasty stuff to the path on rebel, the road less travel To roundabouts, to cruising moving, forks in the road to the life you're choosing, two heads to there, taking it easy, taking it anywhere. The two-litre petrol and diesel Hyundai Tucson. Tomorrow's SUV, here today. Hyundai, drive your way. The best timber frame homes require careful attention from foundation to finish, and no one pays more attention to detail than Goodwin's timber frame, which pays off in saving you time and money in construction. Built to save money for you and your customers. Irish-made Goodwin's Timber Frame, at the heart of great homes. Can great skin be created? Yes. You cleanse with liquid facial soap. Exfoliate for radiance with clarifying lotion. Moisturize with dramatically different moisturizing lotion. Clinique's custom-fit three-step system. 
And now exclusively at Brown Thomas Clinique Bonus Choice. Choose your free gift, party treats or comfort treats with any two Clinique products. Clinique exclusively at Brown Thomas. A T A Security. Look at the darker colours. That's Sayana and Van Dyke Brown. Sayana and Van Dyke Brown. All with the filbert brush now. All with the filbert brush. Right down. Over here. Van Dyke Brown now on its own will come here and zoom. And here, and zump. Rump. Over here, there's a little bit of a bank over there. All this uh, river lee now is all dammed. And right up here at this side, <laughs> behind my back, there's a, a huge dam, only just not that far up. Five or six hundred meters up there. Not that far. Massive. Sometimes if you're fishing here, the, ho the hooters will go off. And that's to warn people that uh, the ESP are going to leave off some water. And they're telling you, watch it and get out of it, because that river could go from, from three feet up to 15 feet in, in an hour. So you'd want to be careful over there. So let's be careful when you're down there by the river. But it's a lovely spot now. It's a lovely spot. Here now, pulling all that down. Right down there. So now I'm going to go for a bigger brush, two-inch brush, and um, a tissue in my hand, I suppose. And I'm going to pull all this down. Very gently, starting here. Very gently. Come on down. Thank you. Come on. Come on down. Thank you. Come on down, Mr. Reflection. Right down. Right down. And it pays now. It pays to, to talk to the canvas, whatever you do. Yeah, well, I got into trouble here one day. And uh, there was a couple of people arrived outside the studio with white coats. And they were looking for, uh, for some old cork fella. That was, um, they said he was talking to the canvas. <laughs> and they wanted to take him away for treatment. So when they saw me, they said, hold on a minute, I'm, a, I'm an artist. I'm supposed to talk to the canvas. And I said, who reported you? Who reported me? Who said that? And when they says this, the director of programs rang up, there's a fellow in here. <laughs> He's gone off his game talking to the canvas. So, ah, uh, no, I says, it is only a joke, don't mind that. So they had a look at him anyway, and, and he was taking mouthfuls of tablets himself. And they took him away for a few days. He didn't talk to me for a week after. Now, I'm going in here to create a water line over there. Way over under the bank now. Right in under there. So artists do talk to the canvas, do talk to it. Why wouldn't you? I'm going to push all these reflections down in under the water. Right down. Over here now I've got to do something else. This is quite deep at times. It's a great place for pike fishing now. I used to get a lot of um, patch air one time, but they seem to have disappeared. Ah, I got some pike there too, but we leave them off. Just pat them in the, the back of the head and say goodbye, thank you, Mr. Pike, and leave them off again. And they'll be there for another day. Great place for pike along here. It used to be a famous salmon river, but uh, and before you come up to the dams, it's still quite good, but uh, 
There's two dams on this now. One is here behind me, Karagadrahad, the other one. There's two of them anyway. I'm getting the reflections back under the, under the water now by doing this. Okay, come on, get back in there. Thank you. Right down to here. And now I'm still myself to stop now because I'm starting to overpaint that. Now this is just three miles, it's uh, three miles east of McCroom, not that far from McCroom at all. And it was built by the McCarthy family. This was built uh, by the McCarthy family. And it, it's a strategic point um, crossing the River Lee here from one side to the other. Now I'm going to make up some dark, dark um, green. And again, black and green. And throw in a little bit of Van Dyke Brown into it. Not a whole lot of paint required here now. Black and green, bit of Van Dyke Brown, all together. And I put a little bit to the brown side now. So it's a browny green. It is like an olive green now, rather. It's brown, it's gone in, you can see it. If I pull off this, and that's how I know what color I have. I pull off the paint and I look in here. I don't look at the lump of paint. Don't look at that. Take up the paint, and what you have left, look in there, and you'll see the color in there. That's the color. So I can see that that's a browny green now, and that's exactly what I want. So I want you to come back up to the canvas. Just wipe my gear. This site was chosen by a lady or Car Carol, and she was engaged at the time to one of the McCarthy's, and she chose the site. And it was a magnificent strategic site here where you couldn't cross over the River Lee. You had to pass that, that castle, and that was a great fortress, a famous fortress. Now, what I'm going to get now is a one-inch brush now. And I'm just going to get the dark green and up here, up here. Filling all that in. I'm going to tap in. Tapping now. Tapping. And out she comes. See these trees? There's history attached to those trees as well. And I'll tell you a little bit about it in a moment. I'm filling all that in now. Fill it all in and push the old bridge back now. You see the bridge going back? It'll go back now. Go on, get back, Mr. Bridge, get back. Get into the, the canvas there. Don't be letting me down now. I'm back in my own county. And don't let me down. All along here. This is the bank where you can walk up to go fishing. Just filling it all in now. So I'm just going to uh, push in here and push that up. Push it up. And that will push the river back. In 1641 there was um, uh, Cromwell and army was in Ireland and one of his generals was uh, here and he, there was, uh, they were all in, inside in the castle, uh, the McCarthy people, clan, and the siege was on from Cromwell's forces, and um, so who happened to be passing? Only the bishop at the day, and he was captured. He was Bishop McEgan, was his name, Bishop McEgan. I got to just get a little bit of this here, just to thin it out, and I need to put in just a few little tree trunks, and that's all, just in case, okay? I'm going back up to the... But Bishop McEagle, or Egan, was... Um, Bishop McEagan was passing, and Cromwell's general uh, captured him. And he said he have a right one here, and he'll get him to, the, to lift the siege on the river. They couldn't cross over because of the, the, the castle there was holding his troops back. So he told um, the bishop, he said, you go over, over to the, the castle and tell them to surrender. And um, he went over all right, and 
I must just clean the brush now. I'm a bit, I'm a bit dirty. I'm sorry now, I must clean the brush. And he, he was tasked him anyway to surrender. And of course, he shouted out to the people within the castle, his own people. He said, don't surrender for country or for religion. He said, fight on. And they went and caught him and they hung him with the reins of his own horse off of the trees up here. And that's a true story. With the reins of his own horse at this side of the bridge, in front of everybody. So that was the end of Bishop MacEgan. I'm afraid he wouldn't get away, they wouldn't get away with that today, but what happened? That's a good story, and it's a true story, and it's part of the history there. Now, don't kill all the dark areas here. I'm just putting in some highlights here. But whatever you do, don't kill the darks. There were dangerous times in Ireland those days. Dangerous times in Ireland those days. Anyway, we live to tell the tale. Thanks be to God, we have a great little country now, and we're all very happy of it with it. Now I'm going to pull this along here, along the bank where I go fishing. Of course this is all uh, controlled now, all this, these waters are all controlled by the, the ESB. And you can walk up along here and fish up above, as I said, the major a dam is just above us here, and if you hear the hooter going off, move away out of it. Don't, well, get out of the water, you'll be safe enough on the bank. When you just get out of the water, and you'll be quite safe. Now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of uh, black color, thinned out. And I'm going to look at the clock to know how am I going. I'm okay. I'm okay. And just put in a few little birds flying over, the letter V spread out. And I like to put three, you can put two or one, whatever you want yourself. And leave a go at that. So there's Carrigadraha Castle and all the people down the McCrube area and that area in West Cork. I just want to wish them all well. There's lots of very good artists down there. Very, very good artists. And until we meet again, got a meal of good, Shlan Lat. God bless you all, my friends. Ireland, my Ireland, oh, I'm coming home. Though I roamed, sure, my heart never left her. 